This is Daybreak on CNN with Dave Michaels from CNN Center in Atlanta and Norma Quarles in New York. Good morning. There are new complications for Western hostages in Iraq and Kuwait. Iraqi President Saddam Hussein promised freedom for Western women and children. Now diplomats say Iraq has attached conditions. Well, it's eight minutes after the hour. Norma, in my neighborhood, I think we had enough rain to spread across the whole nation last night. <laughs> well, <laughs> get ready for some heat. <laughs> We're going to have beautiful weather in the northeast, and there'll be beautiful weather in the northwest, but it's going to be a scorcher elsewhere. Meteorologist Valerie Voss joins us with the details. Good morning, Valerie. Good morning, Norma. Our forecast across Atlanta today is for a high temperature of only 95 degrees. Atlanta went to 98 yesterday, broke a record high temperature. And here's your forecast now for some cities that we hope are close to you. Daybreak continues now with Dave Michael. Jim, and coming up on Daybreak, Illinois residents survey the scene of a disaster that once contained their homes and begin to build again. Seventeen minutes after the hour, recapping the latest news from the Gulf. The departure of Western women and children from Iraq is delayed by new complications. I would like to organize a little protest group uh, to get rid of August. <laughs> what I'm would sure. you replace it with, May? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. October Another, would be nice. <laughs> yes, okay. Another round of stormy weather is developing in the southeast today. Meteorologist Valerie Voss has more on that and the rest of the nation's weather and whatever thoughts you have, Valerie. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the calendar now. Now, July, October, September, October. It's fine, I Here's guess. Here's today's forecast now for some cities that we hope are close to you. The Business Traveler's Advisory coming up at the top of the hour. Daybreak continues now with Dave Michael. This is Daybreak on CNN with Molly McCoy and Rick Moore from CNN Center in Atlanta. And good morning, everyone. Iraq weaves a web of red tape and delaying hostage departures. Freedom Day was to be Wednesday, then yesterday. But exit visas could not be issued that quickly, and today is a Muslim holy day. Good day to everybody. It's nine minutes past the hour. Coming up next, higher oil prices. That's on Business Morning with Stuart Barney. Thanks for being with us. I'm Rick Moore. Thanks, everybody. I'm Molly McCoy. Daybreak continues at the top of the hour with the latest on that meeting in Jordan between U.N. Secretary General Javier Paris de Cuellar and Iraqi Foreign Minister Tariq Aziz. Stay with CNN.